Mr. Weber, you've now also been nominated as party um, top candidate of the Conservative CDU here in Germany for the uh, Conservative bloc of the European Parliament. These are testing times for Europe. There's a Brexit vote coming up. Uh, what are your feelings when you look across the channel right now? The Brexit uh, vote tomorrow in the British uh, uh, Parliament gives us a clear indication that a lot is at stake. So the people in Europe must know that the elections in May, end of May this year, the European elections, will decide about the future of this continent. And they, they, will, be, they will have a huge impact about this future, whether Thus will win who are against the part partnership approach, whether against uh, the cooperation on this continent, those who are practicing nationalism, and the others who are ready to compromise, who are ready to sit together and find reasonable compromises in the interests of all citizens. That is at stake, and that's why the first main message is it's serious. So the elections are important. Now, the big question is, if this vote doesn't go through, um, there might be fresh elections even in Britain. Would a new deal, an opening of the negotiations, even be possible? While well, the deal is on the table, we negotiated this for more than two years now. It was a compromise from 28 countries uh, and three institutions on the Brussels level, so on the European level. That's on the table. Uh, I don't see a lot of room of manoeuvre for any further uh, uh, discussions on this. Uh, having the problems in mind, because we are not talking about legal points, we are talking about fundamental decisions. For example, certainty for the citizens, for the British citizens who are living in the European Union and for the Europeans who are living in Great Britain. Or to avoid a hard Brexit, uh, to avoid a hard border in the Northern Ireland question. Everybody knows how, how, how difficult, how, 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 how violent the history of the region in, is and, and was. And that's why uh, we have to avoid this. Uh, though it's about concrete political actions which we want to solve with this Brexit uh, deal on the table. That's its best uh, uh, deal uh, possible uh, uh, on the table and that's why we have to vote in favour. What political fallout are you expecting in Europe uh, if the whole Brexit situation descends into political chaos? The whole Brexit development over the last years gives people a clear idea. It's much better to reform Europe, where reform is needed, than to leave or even destroy the European Union, because that is creating so much damage. And that is what people all over Europe experience, and that's why uh, politically it brings us closer together uh, in the European Union. We have to keep this, and for me as a top candidate for uh, the European People's Party, it's, uh, it's the most important task now to fill this openness for a pro-European approach, to, for this pro-partnership approach, to fill this now with a concrete perspective for the future. So concrete promises, what will happen if you vote for one of the EPP parties in the European uh, elections. And that is what we are working at the moment on. I am doing a listening tour all over Europe to get in, in contact with people, to, get, to take their considerations into account. I was last week in Cyprus, I will go this week to, to Spain. And that's what we have to do as politicians, listen to people, think pe Europe from people's point of view. That is what we have to do, give Europe back to the people in another, in other, in another way. And uh, that is what we want to do, what I want to do, and uh, let's do it. Okay, Manfred Weber, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you so much.